Today, I'm going to give you an insight into how the human ear hears frequency and tell you a secret about the magical frequency of 632 hertz. Actually, 632.45553. Learn audio online with Audio Masterclass. AudioMasterclass.com In my last video about linear phase and minimum phase filters, I used a frequency sweep from 100 hertz to 1600 hertz and talked about the center frequency, 400 hertz. I'll put a link to that video in the description. So, in what sense is 400 hertz the center frequency between 100 and 1600? It certainly isn't the average. Let's start by listening to the sweep. All of the audio examples here are between around 8 to 10 seconds long. That was exciting, wasn't it? It's the kind of thing that pleases me. I invite your comments. So let's listen to 100 hertz. You'll need to be listening on proper speakers or headphones. Laptop speakers or eBay earbuds probably won't do much for you. And now for 1600 hertz. So how can we find the center frequency between 100 and 1600? Let's take an average. 100 plus 1600 equals 1700. Divide by 2 gives 850 hertz. Here it is. I don't really hear it. To me, 850 seems a lot closer to 1600 than it does to 100 subjectively. But it's the same 750 hertz away from both. So this tells us something about the way the human ear works. We hear frequency logarithmically rather than arithmetically. I'll put a link in the description if you want to look at the maths. So how do we find the center frequency logarithmically? Well, I'm sure mathematical geniuses could suggest plenty of ways, but I'm going to use what's called the geometric mean. To get this, I don't add 100 and 1600, I multiply them. So, 100 times 1600 equals 160,000. Take the square root, 400. 400 hertz. So, 400 hertz is the center frequency using this method. Let's list it to 100, 400, then 1600 hertz, in sequence. I'm convinced. It sounds halfway to me. If it doesn't to you, let me know in the comments what you think. As I said, it's subjective. You might, by the way, have noticed that the jumps are two octaves. That's just a coincidence and you can try out this test for yourself with different pairs of frequencies. So this brings me to the magical frequency of 632 hertz. Actually, 632.45553. What does it mean? Well, it's the center frequency of human hearing. Take a moment to absorb that. So how do I work this out? Simple. It's that geometric mean again. The frequency range of human hearing is normally stated as 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So, if I multiply these, 20 times 20,000 equals 400,000. Take the square root, 632.45553. 632 hertz is the center frequency of human hearing. Now, I don't expect you to believe me without a demonstration. I can't do it the same way as before, since it's unlikely your speakers or headphones go as low as 20 hertz, so you won't be able to hear it. Likewise, although when you're young, you can probably hear 20 kilohertz, with age, that limit decreases. So again, probably you can't hear it. So what I'm going to do instead is to sweep the tone upwards and downwards from the center of 632 hertz. Rather than try to explain further, let's just listen.
Now, bearing in mind that your speakers or headphones are probably a limiting factor in the low frequencies, does 632 sound central to you? Let's try it another way. Well, it's subjective, and you could ask whether it matters. I think it matters because the more you understand about audio, and particularly how the human ear reacts to sound, the better the engineer or producer you're going to be. I'm David Meller, course director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.